Hi everyone, this is Rosie and welcome to my studio where we can explore creativity together. In my last video, I showed you how I create these really cute little tags using the Ideology Tim Holtz tag press. And I really do love this press and I love making these tags, but the press is very hard on my hands because you do need to use a lot of pressure to make that uh, ring compress. So I've been experimenting around a little bit and I'd like to show you an alternative way that I've come up with to make these tags. Um, and they, they look really just as, just as nice as the ones that you do at the tag press. So let's get started. So I'm going to use my Big Shot and I'm using the magnetic platform here and I'm going to put a clear plastic standard plate on top of it. I have a few of the tags that I've already prepared. They, they're not secured in there yet. They're just placed in the middle of the rings. And I'm just gonna put them face down on top of the plastic pad. Now, one of the nice things about this is you can do multiple ones at the same time. Then I'm simply going to place another pad on top and I'm going to use a shim just to give it a little bit more pressure as it's going underneath the roller. And this is a piece of uh, grunge paper from Tim Holtz, but it doesn't matter what you use, just something that'll give you a little bit more pressure. And then I'm just going to turn it. And now you can see it's actually created some very nice tags. So for comparison purposes, these are the ones that I just ran through the Big Shot. And these are the ones that I made with the tag press. Now there is a slight difference. These ones are a little bit flatter. But the difference would not deter me from using the Big Shot because it's much easier on my hands and I can make multiple tags at the same time. And I will also let you get a look at the backs. So there you go, a good alternative for making tags. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Please like and subscribe.